Okay, so here we are again. Uh, this is our last toolkit entry for Chapter 9. This is called Ratios of Similarity, R to R squared to R cubed. And we're talking about three-dimensional figures in this chapter. And so we talk about something called the scale factor, uh, in which is something twice as big or three times as big or four times as big. And that means all the lengths would be that much bigger. So if the scale factor was two. That means the lengths of the bigger figure every edge is twice as long. So if something had been five units long, now it's 10 units long. Now the edge lengths, they are doubled when the scale factor is two, but the surface area is actually multiplied by four. And the reason why is surface area is two dimensional and four comes from two squared, whereas volume is three dimensional. So the volume would actually be eight times as large because eight is two to the third power. Likewise, down here, if our scale factor is three, that means our edges are three times as long. Our surface area is nine times as much because that is what three squared is. And the volume would be 27 times as large, and that's because that's what three to the third is. So the relationship is right down here. It's if the scale factor is r, that means the edges are r times as long. Our surface area is r squared as much as as big as the first one and volume is r3 r to the third power excuse me times as big so make sure this all gets in your toolkit and now we're going to use this in in a way in which we've been making figures in class and now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and not use the figures all the little cubes and so forth but be able to figure out using this whole concept up here so first of all the question is find the surface area and volume of a two by three by seven solid so if we were to draw a little sketch of that, go ahead and make a little rectangle like this. And let's make it three-dimensional. So go ahead and make your lines out like this. So this shape we could say is this, this maybe this is seven, and this is three, and this is two. So we're talking about two by three by seven here. This is a solid. And we're going to find the surface area and the volume. So let's go ahead and uh, let's find a few things about it. We've talked about already about how to find volume and surface area and one of the things you need to know is the base area. So the base area in this case here, the area of this base down here would be 2 times 3 and 2 times 3 is 6. If we wanted to figure out the base perimeter that would be very easy to figure out here. We would just add up all four sides here. So 3 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2 that would be a total of 10, so 10 units. And the height is 7. So to find our volume of this solid here, we would simply take the height, which is 7, times the area of the base, which is 6. 7 times 6 is 42, so it would be 42 units cubed. The surface area would be 2 times the area of the base, so it would be 2 times 6, plus it would be the height times the base perimeter, 7 times 10. Well, that's 12, and 12 plus 70 is 82. So it'd be 82 units uh, squared, not cubed. So that would be the, the general way of how to find the volume and surface area of the solid here. So where this comes into play, what we're talking about in this toolkit entry is, what if, what if we take the sides and we double them, or what if we took the sides and quadruple them? We could actually make this figure if we had enough blocks, but rather than making blocks, here's the shortcut. If we want to find the new surface area, all we do is we take the original surface area, which is 82, and since we're doubling it, we're going to multiply by 2 squared. Well, that's 82 times 4, and of course, 82 times 4, if you grab your calculator here, is 328. So it would be 328 units squared. If we want to do the volume, the original volume is up here. It's 42, so it would be 42. And rather than multiplying by 2 squared, we multiply by 2 to the third power. 2 comes from the doubled. Third power comes because volume is three-dimensional. Well, that's the same thing as 42 times 8. And what is 42 times 8? 42 times 8 is 336. And we're talking about volume, so it's cubic units. So that's what would happen if the sides were actually doubled. Okay. Well, what if the sides were instead quadrupled? The surface area was 82. Quadrupling means it's a factor of 4 and because it's surface area it's two-dimensional so we square it. So it's 82 times 16 and 82 times 16 is 1,312 and then it's square units. And then finally if we're talking about volume here, let me move up a little bit here, 
volume would be the original uh, volume, which is 42. And we multiply by 4 to the power of 3. 4 because we're quadrupling the sides into the third power because it's three-dimensional. So that's 42 times 64. And 42 times 64 is 2,688. And that would be cubic units. And so once again, the whole power in this is I could make these shapes here. I know I, this would be 2 by 3 by 7. When I start doubling the sides or quadrupling the sides or anything like that, I could get these figures that are enormous and I would not want to make them. So that's the shortcut here is we can use the shortcut rules here of taking that scale factor and either squaring it or cubing it. And we can use that to find the new surface area and volume. So that is it.